Yeah, it's time. It's time for more Broncos mother trucking franchise. The Bronchise, the Brochise. Denver Broncos franchise. Let's do it. Now, listen, the season has had its ups and it's also had its downs. I'm pointing down there. I know the, the camera kind of cuts that off, so I don't know if that matters, but it's had ups and downs. But we are three and three, and honestly, we're still in it. Like our division currently is led by the Chiefs, four and one. The Raiders are four and two after we let them embarrass us last week. Yes, I'm sad. Yes, I want to cry, but here we go. You know, it's we got, we got, we got, we got effort. We got belief and we have passion in our pants and we're not afraid to show it. We're sexy and we know it. Now, there were a couple things we kind of got to point out here, okay? In real life, okay, since the last time we've made a Broncos franchise video, which if you've ever feel like you missed one, I make them in a playlist where you can watch them in order should you feel the need. Should you want to get down with the Broncos franchise? It's right there. And as always, if you like these videos, leave a thumbs up on them because it helps me a ton, makes the video do better, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're very close to 40K, and I think that'd be cool to hit, so please, thank you. Here we go. But in real life, Tim Patrick. Oh God, my boy, dude. Tim Patrick was cut by the Denver Broncos. So far in our dynasty, he has three touchdowns and 10 receptions for 165 yards. I can't keep Tim Patrick. He's now a Detroit Lion. Rawr. Gotta get rid of him. P Ryan. P Ryan's gone now. He had 47 yards on 11 carries. He just got back from from being hurt if we're going to be honest in our in our dynasty. So, he's gone. He's a chief now. Got to get rid of him. And so with with great pain, it brings me to saying goodbye to some of our pals. We have to go to the trade. We have to go and uh click on good old Tim Patrick. He was a fun story while it lasted. He was fun while it lasted but he's a lion. Now, obviously they didn't give up a player, so I, and I'm probably gonna rip myself off here, but it just feels like just get him off the team, all right? I could cut him, sure. Could do that, but I'm not going to. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a fifth. They're gonna 100% accept this. I would be stunned if they don't. Fifth for him, yep. Let's go. We got a fifth round pick. Is that going to be worth anything for us? Probably not. We're going to believe, gosh dang it. And we got to give up P. Ryan. Got to get rid of him. Goodbye, P. Ryan. I'll miss you. I was, I halfway didn't hate you. To be honest, I kind of liked you a little bit. Man, the Chiefs got a first, a second, two thirds, fourth, fifth. Man, they got like everything. Uh, I'm just going to put it for a fifth. Send it. You can have him for a fifth. Thank you. God bless. P. Ryan's gone. Get him out of here. And I don't feel like the fifths are going to cause some kind of crazy balance issue for me in the draft. I got two fifths. It is what it is. Uh, so we're going to take that. So our wide receiver core is going to be Cortland Sutton, then Troy Franklin, who's been gross for us. Marvin Mims should benefit more from this. We haven't really been able to hit him a lot. I feel like Mims Jr. has potential to be good. He's only 22, but Russ hated him last year. It almost seems like we hate him this year with how little I've used him. He has four catches in six games for 46 yards. So this should open him up a little bit. Oh, I forgot. And we got to go acquire a big man because there was a trade. It's so funny. I talked about this doing this and then it ended up happening. It ended up happening. And I think it's hilarious. Who knows? Maybe you, the viewer right now are the Broncos GM and you're watching the videos and you're like, yeah, what up, Demu? I'm watching. I'm paying attention. And I think this is a good idea. We're getting Madden Ultimate Team legend Donald Parham Jr. Because he's now a Bronco in real life. Can I give you a fifth? Yeah, let's go, baby. Parham's here. It's time. I know you guys are going to hate me. Part of me wants to sell on Dolchich. Just get him out of here. And even maybe even Trotman and go Donald Parham and just start to try to develop this tall freak. I kind of want to do it, but I don't know. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll give it some time. But this Broncos team has an exciting week. It's Thursday night. Prime time football. No. And we're playing the Saints who are two and four. The Saints are pretty even with us, I think, in terms of how, where we stack up in terms of overalls. But we also have this receiver breakout, which could be huge for the team. Watch it be Tim Patrick. Wouldn't that be hilarious because he's gone now? But let's find out. It's Troy Franklin. Yeah. Seven catches and 90 receiving yards. What are the other goals? 125 receiving yards, four catches, 100 receiving yards, 100 receiving yards and a touchdown. What do I think I can get? I'm going to go four catches and 100 receiving yards. That feels kind of like the move, I think. I think. Let's do it. And so with our weekly strategy, we got to get our head in the game, baby. Derek Carr is not going to be hitting these checkdowns on me. I want to lock that shit up on defense. 
And then for us, I don't want Blitz. I want to be able to throw it. I'm going to try throw Medium. I feel like that might be the better move. I want I, my main concern is developing our team. It's year one of our dynasty. So I don't necessarily think, ooh, we've got to be winning as many games as we can. I want to win. I'm playing to win. But if I'm looking at developing a wide receiver versus getting a little win and becoming four and three in year one, I'm going to develop the wide receiver long term, the rookie. You know, yeah, it makes sense to me. So we got to do practice with good old Bo. I've been playing a lot of college football on stream lately. So I'm wondering how the, you know, cause like Madden and college football do play differently. And so I feel like I gotta, I gotta get the feel, the vibe, if you will, on, on like movement and how quick my passes are gonna go and all that good stuff. So we gotta get our practice going. There's two targets and a catch. Thank you. And also we gotta get Bo Nix back on track here. He started off super awesome for us. And then I've had some, some poor games, I'll say. I need to get him back into our great good graces of, wow, he's nasty. Wow, he's awesome. Look at Bo Nix go and making ourselves Bo believers again. All right, we got gold. Show me a dev trade upgrade. If I could get Bo Nix on Superstar Dev and Troy Franklin on Superstar Dev, that would kind of be fire. No dev trade upgrade, but we do get the XP. Well, we tried. Troy Franklin's been our best receiver so far this year. We've been feeding him pretty good. So I'm excited about the breakout just in general, but I'm also still kind of shocked. I don't have enough to where he's like getting developed. Like, I don't know what his hidden dev trade is yet. I, I, we haven't discovered that, which is kind of insane in my opinion. All righty, we got gold. I'll take a dev trade upgrade on him. I know he's hidden dev, but it can still pop. I'm telling you, I've seen it before with my own peepers. Show me something for Troy Franklin. Just XP, son of a bitch. And let's throw Donald Parham Jr. in here. Why not? He's such a massive body that if I can kind of develop him, I don't know, it'd be kind of fun. I don't know what the odds of doing this, but I mean, look how big he is. And I feel like he's athletic enough that he's gonna be fun to use. I I kind of like him. I know you guys are probably rolling your eyes in the comment section going, Parham Jr. sucks in real life. But listen, that's why he's a Bronco now, okay? And that's why we're developing him because we want to teach him to be good. We want him to learn how to be a pro player. And we're going to do it, gosh dang it. We got gold. If he ends up with star dev, I'm cutting Dolchich this video. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying, don't yell at me. I am but a humble coach. He didn't get it. You're okay. All right, let's start our training. Nobody gets hurt, specifically also Franklin. If Franklin were to get hurt in the week that he has, would you call it, like a potential breakout? Wouldn't that be awful? Show me that he's not going to be dead to me. All right, no injuries, which is hella fun. Good, 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 good. Cortland Sutton, we've got an upgrade on. That's going to be fun. I'm going to improve slot on him. I think that's the best for him. We get five upgrades, awareness, ball carry, vision, catching, and then uh, short route and carry and get plus twos. That's fine. He's an 85 overall. I'm down with it. All right, let's do field general too. The scheme fit might give me more. And so I think I read in the comments that I still could get arm accuracy and uh, power. I got accuracy, but I don't see no power. I want, I want that power to go up, baby. Give me 90 throw power. Let me feel alive. And here's damn Greg, Greg Dolchich. Dolchich, Dolch, I can't say his damn name. I don't care. I don't want him. I'm a Donald Parham Jr. truther. That's a good upgrade. We'll take that. But also before we jump into our Thursday night primetime game, a quick reminder that Underdog Fantasy is today's sponsor. Underdog Fantasy has two really fun ways to play. You can either do traditional drafts, whether they be your Sunday slates or season long on Twitch. I've been doing season long fantasy drafts with people in my Twitch chat nonstop. I'm gonna be doing it all the way up till week one starts. So make sure you jump in or you can do their pick em games where you pick high or lower. Will Patrick Mahomes on Sunday have over one and a half passing touchdowns? High or lower, you pick it. A lot of fun ways to play if you're a fan of daily fantasy sports make sure you check out underdog and use promo code daddy d d a d d y d to get a first deposit bonus all the way up to a thousand dollars and you're also going to get my freebie pick which is b john robinson over half a rushing yard for week one a freebie right there last night on twitch me and my chat we put together this entry right here for week one will it hit will it not who do you like who do you not try it yourself underdog fantasy promo code daddy d thank you for sponsoring today's video let's get back to the football all right thursday night prime time for the broncos broncos saints which now that i'm saying this out loud that can't be a good primetime game in real life, right? Anyway, the Caesars Superdome in New Orleans, it's time. Bo Nix, 13 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. I know I throw a lot of picks. 
I get nervous, okay? I'm doing my best. We're gonna get better, and so is Bo Nix. But we got Derek Carr and the Saints here. It's gonna be a good one here on primetime football, baby. New Orleans, Louisiana. I like going to New Orleans. I go every year for Mardi Gras. It's a good time, and I basically hang out either at the parades or the casino. That's where you'll find me, losing all of my Twitch Prime subs. Here we go. It's time. We're playing defense right off the rip. Maybe we can get a stop and then be successful on offense for once in our lives i don't know we'll figure it out but there's a oh well, i thought i had a hit stick i got the vibration it felt like it but he just got away we get the good tackle on him and here comes Derek carr and your new orleans saints Derek carr has six touchdowns and five interceptions okay i'm liking how many interceptions i'm seeing here that's that feel i feel like i got a shot to do something we're going to start with a little cover one here. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling it deep in my plums. And if they run, I'm going to murder, uh, I guess, Kamara the back, right? Here we go. Looking to throw on the first play of the game. It's going to be Cody Barton getting a user pick. Did you see it? Oh, eat my ass, Derek Barton. I mean, not Derek Barton. Derek Carr. Whoa, Cody Barton. What a pick. You know what? I know what you're thinking right now. You're going, Dibu. I didn't even know you had that kind of skill inside of you right there. That lurk was hot. Derek Carr thought he had it. And Cody Barton said, what are you doing, step bro? Grab that thing right out of the air. Leave a like on the video for beautiful plays because you already know you're seeing the best of the best. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. And here comes Bo Nix. I need no picks this game. I want no picks and I just want to be smart. We also got to keep in mind, we need Franklin to get yards. It's going to be very, very imperative we do that. Here we go, Bo Nix dropping back on the first play. And oh God, I'm getting screamed at, get rid of it. I, I, ooh, ooh, I didn't like it. I was staring at Franklin. That's the issue with these missions though. I stare at a player way too long and it screws me up, but we're gonna get better. I can feel it, I can smell it, I'm all in. Second and 10 as we got rid of it in time. Bo Nix dropping back for another pass. I waited too long. I was trying to hit for, I, I, gotta, I just gotta play. We just gotta play and believe in ourselves. Here we go. I'm feeling it. Daddy's feeling it. There's the ball. Franklin's got... He dropped it. Oh, he had it, and then he got all this extra hit. We're on the 41. I know it's... Ah, I'm going to go for it. It's the 41, right? I'm not going to punt on their 41. I am high-key worried about this decision I've made here. But we're going to believe. And I can't get rid of it in time. Not a completed pass in that drive. It's crazy how it feels like almost the ball takes longer to come out of my hand because I'm playing this and not college football. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm also trying to let stuff, I think, develop way too long. Staring at Franklin, another issue for me. Big hit right there, loss of a yard. Browning coming in with that tackle for loss. Things you like to see. Here we go, we're looking. Daddy's looking, daddy's looking. Oh, okay, that's just the easiest touchdown I've ever seen. Third and nine, we're just gonna touch him down right there. Third and nine, and Powers has broken ribs. He's out for the rest of the game and for a while, I would assume. Awesome, terrific. Here we go, third down, will they convert? Will they convert? It does not look like they will, it's fourth and five. So at least the defense is coming up good, even though we looked like a big bag of ass on offense. But so far, so have the Saints. I don't feel like anybody's moved the football like at all. So we'll take that. The punt goes out at the 22. It's time for the Broncos drive to begin. I'm going to start with the run. We got Javante Williams in here. He's feeling delicious. We got to get him going. Get him going. Give me a block. Pop outside. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Pops in and makes a man miss, and he's all the way to the 40-yard line. Williams with his first carry of the game, and it's huge. Here we go. Nix dropping back. There's Franklin. We're going to get a couple yards, and that's a catch. Five-yard gain. We'll take that. Here we go. Nix dropping back. Right there, Franklin, he's got it, first down. Move the chains, two catches, 13 yards. We just gotta be quick here, stay with what we know. Quick releases right there, it's gonna be Franklin. Get you those yards, baby. Franklin's already got three catches now, and we're starting to get a little rhythm. Put a man in motion, and this is gonna be a fake touch, not jet, not jet touch pass. What was that? I don't even know what I picked, but it didn't work out. Second and 11. Second and 11, Bo Nix, empty backfield. Dropping back, we're believing. Right there, it's Franklin, and Franklin to the house! Touchdown over the middle! That's my rookie receiver, Troy Franklin! Broncos legend! Dude, I'm telling you, Troy Franklin, he's having a huge year for us in this franchise. I like him a lot. Super open right there, and we just cut up right there untouched, and we're gonna put the first points on the board here. 
That was almost a pick. I'm not going to lie. A little dangerous, but we believed. And the kick is up. The kick is good. It's a 7-0 game here in New Orleans. Denver having the lead. That's huge. We needed that the worst way. And here we go. They're trying to return this bad boy. Big hit. No hit. And then we eventually put him down at the 27. All right. Here comes Derek Carr. I still really, really, really want to take just a good defensive drive here and try to keep them off the board. Let's try to just keep working ourselves into into a good position here and we're not going to wrap the rip that's a huge gain right there they're gonna get to the 48 i don't like that I, I i really could use the stop and then a good offensive drive be up two possessions get into the driver's seat that's something i need we need a, a stressless game if that's even possible man in motion empty backfield pass commit all day every day here comes Stearns, get a little hit. I didn't get him as good as I should have. Second and inches. This has got to be a run, right? Feels like a run, smells like a run. Barton, I couldn't get there in time. I got past, I got the block, but Kamara with a good little run to the left got away from me. So New Orleans on their third drive here, having much better success here. They're moving the football pretty good. Here's a run, and we're going to wrap it up with Singleton. That's a big tackle on Kamara. Only a yard gained there on the ground. Into the first quarter here. No snap before it. So second and nine here. We got a 7-0 lead here in New Orleans. All right, here we go. New Orleans trying to cook, and they're going to have a beautiful play right there to the running back, Kamara, and he's got a touchdown up the middle. Well, we got one, then we give one up. Beautiful play right there to Alvin Kamara. I mean, he was barely untouched, or he was barely touched, dude. The middle of the field just was so perfectly open for that play. And so with this point after attempt, it will be a 7-7 seven to seven game. Tie game here, and let's see if Bo can cook again. Mims Jr. back to return this. We need some good yards here. We could really use something. I had a hole, and I didn't punch it. I'm mad at myself. To the 29. Bo Nix currently is second in rushing touchdowns behind Lamar Jackson with seven. Bo Nix has been solid for a rookie. Like, I'm aware that I've been throwing some interceptions and stuff, but I feel like we've definitely done better than probably anybody gave me credit for here. Here's a good little run for Williams. He's going to get four yards on that second and six. Here we go. Bo Nix, another handoff. Let's see if we can get something here, and it looks like we're going to get nothing. Third and five, not ideal. Here we go. Bo Nix dropping back. That's a pick. I don't even, I, you know what's crazy? I stared at it the entire time and I went, that's bad. And I still threw it. Willie Gay just picked me off with the easiest interception of his life. He was staring me in my soul and I still threw it. I thought maybe he'd slide off of the curl and he didn't. And it was, it, that was the dumbest throw I've ever thrown. Here's a run for Kamara. We're going to get to him rather quickly. Four yard gain though, not ideal. Got to stop him. Second and six, Carr, play action. He's going to chug it. Holy shit, whose guy was that? We were playing man coverage. Who was covering Taysom Hill? And it wasn't me, because I made sure I was the guy on the running back. What the hell just happened? I'm upset. That's a beautiful throw. I mean, we're just getting cooked now. Derek Carr and the Saints are figuring something out. First and 10, handoff for Kamar. Cody Barton got annihilated, and then Alvin Kamara jumped over him and did the Spider-Man damn shooting web jump over him. Did anybody else see that shit? I'm gonna run commit here. They're on the three. If they end up throwing it, so be it. So be it. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop him in the backfield. Third and three, that's huge. Gotta stop no field goal here, somehow, someway. Here we go, looking to throw. Middle of the field, maybe? No, that's gonna be a sack. Derek Carr hold, held onto it 433 seconds, and Cooper's gonna come in and get us a sack. The Saints are gonna have to kick a field goal. We're gonna get mad lucky that we're only giving up three here. And the kick is up. It's good. It's 10-7. Not ideal, but there's 226 left in the half. And for those curious, I know we've been talking about, like, the clock in this uh, series a lot. Like, should we increase the minutes? I did increase the quarters, the seven-minute quarters. Maybe we do it to eight. I don't know. I'll, I'll see how we feel after a couple games, but it, we should get better stuff. Here we go. Bo Nix handed it off. Give me a little run. Williams is going to get creamed at the line of scrimmage. We get nothing. Two-minute warning here. I'm not feeling very good. We got to air the ball out. We got to believe no picks. No picks, no whammies. Thank you. Here we go. Bo Nix. Middle of the field. It's Franklin. Big gain. Let's go. That's going to help the yards. Huge first down right there for Troy Franklin. Saw they were in man, so what I did is I put the post on. We also had that one route with Flood going to the left, so it just kind of worked out to where we had the middle of the field open. Beautifully led ball by Bo Nix. Huge stuff right there. Here we go. 
Middle of the field again for Franklin. Get him some more yards, and he's going to get him after the catch, too. First down, move the chains. Minute on the clock. We do got to be a little bit worried about the clock here. I want to make sure that we're not killing too much time. And we're going to hit the running back right here in stride. He drops the football. Williams, big hit. Second and 10. Second and 10. Needs some yards here. Here we go. Right there. It's going to be Greg Dolchich who holds on to the football for me. It's third and inches. I'm going to appreciate the hell out of Greg right now. Third and inches. Give me my first down. Give me my first down. That's fine. Let's go. Huge. 46 seconds. We have all of our timeouts. I'm still trying to maintain that clock. I'm going to kill this clock to about 19 seconds. Then we're going to snap it. Here we go. See what's up. Middle of the field's open. It's going to be none other than Franklin. That's beautiful. 14 seconds. I'm going to call my timeout at 10. Huge play. All right, come on. Right here. Second and two. It's pretty much second and goal. Second and two. Oh, I had him. I still had him. Ah, just run it in. Bo Nix get a rushing touchdown. You've earned it there, champ. Four seconds on the clock. Let's go. We got a lead in the half. Thank you. Thank you. Huge right there for Bo Nix. And with this kick, it's going to be a good 14 to 10. So... Got a lead here. Only four seconds on the clock before the half. I love it. And four seconds. We might just kill the four seconds right here on this return, to be honest. Hopefully, at least. There's one. Say, yeah, it's down. Let's go. We're going to the half. 14 to 10. The Broncos have a lead. Really bad pick on our part with Bo Nix, but otherwise, we've had a pretty good game. Even when we haven't been able to move, I feel like we've been making some good decisions. Uh, but we so far, we got a good little lead here. 14 to 10. We're going to get the ball at the half as well. Huge. All right. Second half, we get the ball. We're going to not necessarily be looking as much as the medium passes, I'd say. Short passes and runs is kind of going to be our strategy here in the second half. Mims gets us to the 27. Let's go. Troy Franklin has 121 yards and seven receptions. He has been huge, and he should be getting his upgrade. So that's exciting. I'm going to run. I'm going to run to the outside. Here we go. Can we do something? Oh, my God. We're still up, though. Oh, my God. Williams is fighting for his life. Somehow turns it into a positive gain. Stayed on his feet. That was huge. Second and eight. See if we can get a couple yards here. Make third a little bit more manageable. We're going to make it not only manageable. We're going to get a first down. Huge carry for Williams. And we're at the 40-yard line now. You guys really sold Javante Williams in the YouTube comments section. You guys told me that I should believe him. And he's really been honestly great for us. That ball is going to be caught by Franklin. And he's still up. Huge to the 43 on their side of the field. Franklin, have yourself a day, buddy. First down, Bo Nix under center, dropping back. Here we go. We're going to hit Marvin Mims for the easy gain right there. That's a first step. What is up with my players keeping their feet right now? What is actually happening? Here we go. First and 10. Get a little run. Not going to get much there. I really couldn't find the hole there. We get one yard on the ground for Williams, but he was kind of doomed from the start, it felt. Empty backfield here. Second and nine. We're looking to cook. Looking to cook. Looking to cook. Looking to cook right there. It's going to be Mims Jr. who gets one yard. Beautiful play by me. Really read that one well. I'm almost wondering if I put Franklin on a, on a post, if he'll be open or Cortland Sutton will be open. One of those two should be. And it's going to be, oh, I, if I lob it back, I think I could actually get it over the defender. He never even looked at me. He just stayed with this guy. That was really good. Going to have to kick the field goal here and make this a full touchdown game. I really wanted that touchdown to give us two possessions. But unfortunately, oh, my God, and I missed. Oh, my God, bro. I just missed the field goal. Holy shit. I can't believe I just did that. I held it too long. It's not like college football. I don't know, man. I'm dying inside. And now on the 34, here come the Saints. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Well, that tight end was about to be hella open, dude. Oh, my God. First and 10. This is not good. I did not want them to get the football with just a four-point lead here. That's not a fan of that at all. Watch the middle of the field. Watch the middle of the field. We're going to come down and get the tackle. Wrap him up. That's a loss of a yard on that check down from Carr. I think staying in zone coverage is the best thing we could do right now. I think that's where we just got to kind of keep our bread and butter at this point. As we wrap up Kamara there, he gets nothing on that. Back the line of scrimmage is third and 11. Here we go. Third and 11. Empty backfield. Carr looking to cook. Don't let him cook. There was two different... I, I mean, I was kind of screwed there. Either the either that curl route right in the middle of the field or to the right was open. Unfortunate. And I tried to get the defensive line to him. Just didn't work in time, unfortunately. First and 10 for the Saints again. It's going to be another pass. And I am not loving what I'm seeing here. Check down out here to Kamara, and he's going to go out of bounds. Five-yard gain. Well, this feels as if it could be a run. And I don't like the way I came out here. Oh, never mind. We actually look great. What a big hit on Kamara in the backfield. Third and seven, a loss of two yards. And that was Abrams coming in. What a hit. All right. Carr will not butter my ass, dude. I'm not going to let him. I refuse to let him butter my ass. 
It's going to be a pass. Where's he going, though? Middle of the field. It's open as shit. It's a touchdown. Well, isn't that nice? He buttered my ass. And with this kick, the Saints are now going to have a 17 to 14 lead. The field goal really but missing that really killed me. Not being able to get a touchdown on that drive really killed me. Just unfortunate. We were in the driver's seat. Saints kicking this thing off. And here comes Dorsett the second. Here we go. I need some yards. Need some yards. Need some yards. All the way to the 29. Let's start this drive with Bo Nix and our king, Troy Franklin. First and 10. I'm running the damn football. I'm running the damn football. Plow him over, Williams. I did not get the truck. All right, second and 10. Second and 10. Bo Nix dropping back. That's bad. That's so bad. I'm lucky that's not a pick. I'm going to be honest. That was just a horrible read on my part. Third and 10. Bo Nix. Catch that football. Cortland Sutton has it. It's fourth and two. Do I go for it here and play ballsy? Fourth quarter action. We know how I am. I think we have to. I think we literally have to. And here's why. It just feels right. Does that make sense to you, Internet? Because it, it makes sense to me. Gotta believe. Gotta believe. Long live the queen. Catch that shit. Mims! Mims is dead! Mims is dead to me! He's such a dumb bitch! Mims! Well, Demu, that was a bad spot to go for. We're not just gonna ignore the fact that Mims dropped that football, the easiest cookie he's ever been given in his life. He was hit five seconds after. I don't give a damn. Grow up, bitch. I hate my team. I'm upset. I hate myself. All right, here we go. You know what? I don't feel like I should give Mims more opportunities. You know, I, that just kind of killed him for me. Bring me Josh Reynolds back out here. And that's going to be another first down for the Saints. First down on the nine. This is so bad. I might have thrown this game. I really thought I could get it. And I thought I had enough stuff to where it, I, I really, I really, and then I thought I could wrap that tackle up and we flew right by him. I really believed. You're going to say it was a bad call, but like, God, it was so fucking open. I'm mad. I'm mad at myself. I don't want to hear it. 24 to 10 now. It's a two possession game for the Saints in the fourth quarter. This is so not good for us. And here's the kick. Come on, New Orleans. I need you to suck. And I need Denver to cook. Get me a block. Get me the block. Push all the way to the 38. Good job, Dorsett. Here we go. Chuck it deep. He got pushed. He got pushed. He got pushed! Did you not see him pushing him hella to the right? He got pushed! Okay, we're supposed to be heading straight at this point. And we're just we're just getting finger fucked over here. Notice how he snaps off him eventually. I hate it. I hate it. Here we go. Second and ten. I'm 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 vomiting in my own mouth. Third and ten. Bo Nix has legs. I forgot about that. First down. Move the chains. Come on, Bo. I need you, Bo. I need you, Bo. Right here, Bo. That's not a good throw. Franklin got it. Three-yard gain there. I mean, he might have 15 catches this game. Bo Nix dropping back. Catch that. I feel like I was interfered with third and seven. Come on. Come on. Dolchich, you got this, buddy. Cut up field, baby. Let's go. First down. Let's go. Move the chains. We're going to try the screen again. We're going to try the screen again. We're going to believe in the screen. We're going to believe in the screen. Get out there. Thank you. Sp I tried to spin. It was so late. All right. Four yard gain. Third, second and six. I wonder if Mims can let me down here. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. Well, I'm just going to throw an incomplete pass. Way too late. Waited in the pocket. Third and six. Bo Nix. Looking to cook. I can't get rid of it. Fourth and six. Oh my God, we're dying. I'm going to kick the field goal. We're going to hope we can play defense and then get a touchdown. Let go of it right here. That's fine. That's fine. That's making it, right? Please, God. Thank you. Holy shit. I'm terrified of kicking now. I feel like I've been scarred. It's a seven point game. We need the defense to come alive here. We have all of our timeouts and the two minute warning. I need a stop and we need to get the football back and we can have a legacy drive here to tie it. That would be huge. Or a fumble. I'll take a fumble, an interception. Derek, where the hell was that first throw you made in the game, huh? Where'd you go, Derek? This is a run, right? For sure. For sure it's a run. Yeah, for sure. Put him down. Second and nine. Two minute warning coming up. Do I run commit here? I kind of feel like I do, but I'm kind of also worried. Second and nine? I don't know. It is a run. Wrap him up. Put him down. Timeout, third and eight. I got to get a stop here. Have to get a stop in the worst way. I have never needed a stop more in my damn life than right now. And I'm I'm sweating bullets right now. It's a run. It's a run. Please turn around and tackle him. What are we doing? Fourth down. They're going to have to punt. We have a shot to tie this internet. This could be huge. This could be huge. 
Dixon, ready for the punt. Fourth and five, a minute 51. We have one timeout. We can do this, I believe. Long live the queen. Here we go. Mims Jr.'s back. We're going to fair catch that. Otherwise, he'll get uh, he'll get bodied is what he'll do. He'll die. Here we go. Bo Nix. We're going to run. Slide. That's fine. That's fine. Does hurry up work in this game? Did they fix it? No, it seems not. <laughs> it, seems, it seems they definitely did not. Bo Nix again. Middle of the field, right there, catch it. Franklin dropped it, he's dead to me now. I don't care, I hate him, he's ugly. Big play right here, big, 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 big play. Bo Nix. You got it, you got it, you got speed, 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 I can't get rid of it. Ah, fourth and five, not good. Have to go for it, I'm terrified, I'm sweating out of my butthole now. Here we go, long live the queen, long live the queen. Cortland Sutton dropped it. I hate this fucking team. The, the Saints don't drop anything. You know what we do? We fucking buttercup our ass off out here. We're little buttercup bitches. Dropping every effing ball. If we're getting a little touched. Oh, somebody slapped me on my cock and I'm dropping it, I say. I'm angry. We just lost to the Saints. The season's done. I'm selling everyone. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, time out. Eat that, bitch. I'm just sad now. I'm just sad. We, I, I can't believe we just lost. I can't believe he dropped that, man. I just really thought we had it. And so that'll be the end of this game. Big L. But listen, in the grand scheme of things, it's okay. We knew the Broncos were going to have some ups and downs coming into this. I think this is definitely a down. But Troy Franklin did hit his goal. He got a ton of yards, ton of touches, which is good for the long-term development of our rookie wide receiver. I feel like Bo Nix got screwed a little. I had that really bad pick, but then I feel like I feel like I had to have a little help by the damn team. 15 for 31 was Bo Nix. He had a touchdown interception, 191, uh, 194 yards. Uh, Williams was had 10 carries for 40 yards on the ground. Second half, we really stopped being able to really run entirely. It felt like uh, we just weren't really getting any yards. Nix had 21 yards on the ground as well and a rushing touchdown. Franklin had nine receptions, 141 yards and a drop. Dolchus was two for 26. Thank you, Greg. Two for 15 with a drop was Mims. Sutton, one for eight with a drop. Williams, one for four with a drop. It's just so many damn drops. And it's crazy because you look at the Saints. There's not a singular drop. There's not a singular drop. And there were times they were catching the football where we're putting our body all over them. No drops. They just, they, they don't drop the football. Defense, Jonathan Cooper did have an absolutely big sack. Love to see that. Had a couple tackle for losses here. Browning had two. Interceptions, Cody Barton had one on the first play of the game. Just missed opportunities then by the offense right there. If we couldn't move the football, the missed field goal, the... I mean, there were just so many different mistakes we had, but really, really sucks. I thought we had that game in the bag. I really, truly believed it. Well, we do get to figure out about our receiver breakout, so let's go find out what they say. And Troy Franklin... The coach's office. Bring him in here. I want to talk to my king. I do like Troy Franklin a lot, in case you can't tell. Stellar game this week. Coach won't even make eye contact with him. He's staring off into the background, thinking about how his wife's getting plowed by the pool boy. Uh, that's the plan, coach. Keep throwing the ball my way, and good things will happen. Troy, I'm going to feed you like there's no tomorrow, okay? I'm going to make you fat and happy. Next game, because you'll be a big part of the game plan. Let's go. Don't really know that. I don't, does, do I have to do something else? has superstar development. Troy Franklin has superstar dev. Huge rookie wide receiver getting the good development. He's going to get more XP. That is huge. And we got 45K XP. Double or nothing. Get wide receiver Troy Franklin, 150 receiving yards and one touchdown to increase his dev trait. What? You're telling me I get him one tutty and 160 yards? He'll have X factor? Am I reading this correctly? That could be incredible. That could be monstrous. Also, we do have that injury uh, powers. The left guard broke his ribs out for six weeks. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Man, so listen, did the loss sting? Yeah, it's a one possession game, though. We got to tighten some things up. Unfortunate for sure. We also could have a linebacker breakout. Bro, we could have a lot of fun stuff coming up here in week eight. I hope you enjoy. If you do like these videos, give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Do you think we get Troy Franklin X Factor? Am I reading that correctly? Let me know. Comment to the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate you watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.